In this video, we're going to look at solving systems of equations, which have three variables. To solve a system with three variables, we must eliminate the same variable twice. If we can eliminate the same variable twice, it will give us two equations with two variables, which we know how to solve for by either using the addition or substitution method. So for example, if we had a problem like this, to help us stay organized, let's start by labeling them equation 1, 2, and 3. I like to use Roman numerals, so I don't mix these numbers up with the problem. As we look at these equations, I'm looking for a variable that would be easy to eliminate by combining two equations together. You may notice equations 1 and 2 have a positive 5z and a negative 5z. This tells me it would be really easy to eliminate the z. So let's do that using equations 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 was 3x minus 3y plus 5z equals 16. Equation 2 was 2x minus 6y minus 5z equals 35. When we combine these equations together, we've eliminated the z's. We're left with 5x minus 9y equals 51. Notice we've eliminated the z, z once. Let's call this equation A, the first time we've eliminated z. Now what we're going to do is use a different pair of equations to eliminate the z again. Is there another pair of equations we can use to, to eliminate the z? You may notice that equations 2 and 3 with a negative 5z and positive 5z, would quickly be able to eliminate the z. So let's use equations 2 and 3. Equation 2 was 2x minus 6y minus 5z equals 35. Equation 3 is negative 5x minus 12y plus 5z equals 28. We already have opposites in front of z, and we've eliminated it a second time. We now have negative 3x minus 18y equals 63. Notice we've eliminated the z a second time. Let's call this second time b. We now have two equations, equation a, and equation b, which have two variables, 5x minus 9y equals 51, and negative 3x minus 18y equals 63. And we can solve this equation quite quickly. Notice we can get opposites in front of the y's by multiplying the first equation by negative 2. When we do, we have negative 10x, plus 18y equals negative 102. And negative 3x minus 18y equals 63. Adding these equations together, we get negative 13x equals negative 39. Dividing by negative 13, we find x is equal to 3. We can now plug this value of 3 in for x in one of the equations. Let's plug it into b. Negative 3 times x, or 3, minus 18y equals 63. Negative 9 minus 18y equals 63. Add 9 to both sides, and we get negative 18y equals 72. Dividing both sides by negative 18, and we find out that y is equal to negative 4. In part 2 of this video, we will find z and also do another example. 